Hello and welcome. So here I am now with the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i for 2023. This one has the RTX 4090, 16 gigabyte as well, capable of 175 watts with a vapor chamber and some really beefed up cooling for this year. So what we're going to do is now is this is hooked up with a HDMI cable to my 4K 60 hertz, 27 inch display here. And we're just going to do a benchmark here to see how this laptop can perform, uh, you know, tucked in kind of closed lid mode against this monitor. So I've got resolution set to 4K. We'll go over to graphics and then we'll set it to overdrive. The only toggle I'd like to make is from here auto to quality so that we get a little bit more visual fidelity on the screen. And if I show you here in Lenovo Vantage, I've got here, I'm, I'm in thermal mode is custom. I've got the performance settings here. I'll cover these separately in a different video. Fan speed is set to full. And I've got a small GPU overclock, 150 megahertz on the GPU clock and 200 megahertz on the vram so with this let's see what is the performance we can expect all right so you can see here that full fan mode with performance tuning and optimal settings it's running at around 160 watts or rather all over the place <laughs> yeah it does peak up to 160 watts a little bit less stable performance than i was getting on the omen 17 the Omen 17 basically would crank it up to about 165 watts and it stays there pretty well most of the time with the occasional dips to 150, 155 watts and with the occasional jump up above 170, 270, 171 and so on watts. But if we look at this here in this mode, you know, connected to an external 4K display, you're still getting in the high 50s, which is excellent frame rates considering all of the ray tracing and all of the RTX goodies are turned on including path tracing, which is very, very taxing and demanding right now. Uh, hopefully there's another update coming I just read about today that may add some other tech, which will basically allow the path tracing to run a lot lighter in terms of load on the GPU. We'll see once that makes its way to the game itself. So here we are. Let's see what our stats are. We've got an average of 52 frames per second, minimum is 37, and a max is right close to 70 at 69 frames per second. Very, very respectable and playable performance. Uh, the next game we'll do here is we'll jump right into uh, Hogwarts Legacy, and we'll do a couple of different tests there hooked up to a 4K display. So unfortunately, this game does not have a built-in benchmark. So we have to do this the old-fashioned way. I'll have to run around and show you, but let's have a quick peek at the settings. Right now, I'm hooked up over HDMI to this 4K 27-inch 60 hertz display. If you look at the settings here, we've, we're, the native resolution is 4K, but the scaled resolution using DLSS quality settings is you know, natively rendering at around 1440 and then scaling it up to 4K. Frame generation is currently turned off. We'll turn that on in a moment to see what kind of an extra kick that gives us. Reflex, low latency is on plus boost, and I've left the frame rate as untapped. And if we look at the ray tracing settings, I've turned all of these off because the game is just a stuttery, stuttery and jittery mess right now with all of the ray tracing turned on. It's very hard to give a fair, you know, uh, assessment of the game because of all of that mess. So hopefully once they get this stuff sorted out, it'll be a lot better. But here we go. So we're running around here. We'll take a little loop around Hogsmeade. I like this area for demonstration because it has a lot of uh, lights, textures, shadows, etc. And people walking around during the day. At night, it's very heavy because there's lots of light sources. So it's a pretty heavy taxing workload for the GPU. As you can see here, we're running at close to about 150 watts. Uh, and as I ran around here, run around here, I'm getting around 70, 60 to 70 frames per second, depending on where I'm at exactly. But a pretty good showing. I've got the fans cranked to max. And it's running in performance mode or custom mode, rather, with the GPU overclock enabled. And it's actually performing pretty well, you know, with the exception of a slight stutter here and there because of the GPU performance. Not sure why that's kicking all the way down to 110-ish watts, you know, with the CPU at about 75 watts. That's a bit odd. I was getting much more stable performance on the Omen 17. So my overall assessment for this year is if you're looking to get a 4090 laptop, you should be looking at 17 inches and up, you know, just to have the extra thermal capacity to cool these devices. Now let's jump in here. We'll enable the frame generation and we'll show you what that does as an extra bonus. So we'll give it a moment. It takes a moment to activate. We'll just kind of wander around here and we should see the frame rate jump right up into the triple digits for the most part. So GPU is still at around 150 watts. So I don't know where this magical 175 watts figure keeps coming from. The only game I've seen consistently give that type of figure 
it, thus far has actually been an older game, which is Borderlands 3. That one really taxes the GPU. You can push it up to uh, badass and increase the resolution scaling to just crazy, insane levels. And that thing will tax the GPU all the way to 175 and just push it there for the entire duration of the gameplay. So that's been an excellent test. Uh, this one here, now you can see we're right in the 90s, 80s, 90s, you know, eventually touching uh, 100 frames per second, triple digits here with frame generation turned on. Uh, but we're still only getting about 150 watts out of this GPU. One other quick mode that I want to point out basically is the balance mode in the Lenovo Vantage software. So this is important here because for 2023, Lenovo has introduced what they call the Lenovo AI engine. And this will basically monitor your CPU and GPU workload and over time tune the uh, each application for a particular balance between CPU and GPU. So you get the best performance in each scenario. So if you enable that here, when we jump back into the game, you can see here that we're still getting similar performance. Uh, but the power levels are, are looking like they've gone up a little, bo little bit. And as this learns from your different behaviors, so every time you run the game and the more often you run the game or a same similar workload, it will start to learn over time how it's managed the workloads. Right now, it's not working at quite as well as expected, but hopefully this is something with BIOS and software updates that's going to get just smarter and smarter. As we can see right now that in this mode, it's trying to push over 100 watts to the CPU, which is you know great for getting those really, really high uh, you know, CPU clocks, but that's not going to help us in this game here. We need to get that balanced over to the GPU. Hopefully over time, this thing will learn and we'll start to get closer to that 175 watts max TGP that's possible in this game. Uh, but for the moment, I just wanted to quickly point that out to say that is an option. It is new for 2023. It is pretty cool because there's dedicated hardware to do this. So no sending stuff off to the cloud, unlike the Gigabyte laptops that I've tested. Uh, so at least we have a little bit of privacy there, hopefully. But again, we don't have the full story about what is being submitted. Is there data being sent off or not? As we can see here that this is starting to go above 150 watts a little bit. But 150 watts seems to be the magic number on this Lenovo. And finally, one last thing to point out. There is also a quiet mode. Uh, do not use this mode. It's pretty useless for gaming. Basically, this is the equivalent of the, uh, the balance or sorry, the eco mode on the home in 17 but on that mode you're still able to get about 120 watts here we can see here that thro lenovo is throttling very hard all the way down to 60 watts on that gpu we're barely getting 15 frames per second and lots of texture pop in here the game is pretty much unplay unplayable like this at 15 frames per second so don't use that for gaming uh, it's not a very good mode and hopefully you know that's something that lenovo can also address with later on uh, additional bios updates and software updates combined so uh, that's all I have to say here about the 4090 hooked up over 4K uh, HDMI to an external monitor. It's very, very playable, excellent frame rates, excellent power, uh, and you can balance it out if you tweak to your heart's content with fan profiles and overall performance to what you like, uh, but a very, very capable machine uh, with the 40, 4090. So that's all I have to say here. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.